Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard, and today guys, guess what? We are back playing some Minecraft. I'm playing Minecraft on the Java Edition. As you can see, we are down in the nether right now. Uh, today I am going to show you guys uh, just a few things that I've set up. Um, I have a blaze spawner set up right here, and then I also have another blaze spawner set up over here. So, lucky enough, when I went down to the nether, there was two of these things down here, and they were pretty darn close to each other, so it's uh, definitely quite awesome. Um, using my favorite building block, the bricks, and then uh, use some nether fence here, and, you know, just kill and blaze. Um, I also do have a skelly spawner, which I'll show you a little bit later, but boy, I tell you what, doing these blaze... Um, levels you up a heck of a lot faster as you guys can see below my levels my levels at 45 currently so now I will take you up to my main base um, I have a minecart set up here to go back to my um, my actual uh, nether portal so there's just a few turns here and there it's actually kind of cool nice and easy simple man I was watching my buddy wolf play um, you know probably earlier last month and I decided why not I'm gonna try this out so as you guys can see here's the nether uh, right over there where that tower is um, that is where the actual blaze spawners are so uh, definitely cool um, and I pretty much for all these I've put down the date on when I actually created it so um, 2 2 22 and then we'll go to my main base and I will show you guys around that so I can turn around here open up my fence gate uh, right here is uh, basically a lake I planted some kelp over there because kelp works really good for burning um, got pumpkins going on and it looks like it's daytime so that's good uh, this is my semi um, kind of where I cook everything up I got the uh, Good old stone cutter here, got some regular furnaces, got a blast furnace, got some smokers. Um, smokers work great for cooking up meat, and as you guys can see right down here, I got plenty of that going on, plus plenty of leather going on. Um, also, I got a bunch of bricks, found a bunch of clay, and just started rocking it. Plus, I have uh, obsidian in here as well, so I got 50 obsidian. Up here, I have my horse supplies. So iron horse, diamond horse, some leads, some golden apples. Um, I don't have a horse per se. I had a mule before, but um, I lost it in <laughs> some of the chaos. So I got a bunch of diamonds, as you guys can see here, a bunch of iron. Um, and like I said, I've been playing a long, I've been playing a while now. Um, so it is definitely this is actually the second. Uh, these are just blocks of coal. Uh, this is actually, I think, my second main base that I set up. The first one, I haven't gone back to, but at the first one, I actually have a uh, a zombie spawner. Um, right back here, I got my potion, my potion room. So, got some chests back here full of water. And then the brewing stands. Over here, I got my blaze powder, a bunch of blaze rods. And, uh, you know, I got a nice... Flame on. I called my bow flame on because it has flame. I called this one killer. Called this one smite. Called this one needle from Game of Thrones. And then the diamond pickaxe has diamond has um, fortune three on it. A uh, bunch of redstone. Bunch of nether wart. And I can show you guys. So I got an automated. Uh, well, it's not really. It's semi-automated. But here's my nether wart. I've done these before. If you guys want to see tutorials. On any of these farms just let me know I'd be more than happy to do it so I just have a dispenser of water here with an on and off switch right above it and then I can just replant all the uh, nether wart in here it's a case, it's a case goes down through the filter um, got a bunch of pumpkins um, over here got a whole lot of building blocks so a bunch of cobblestone some deep slate cobblestone bunch of redstone redstone uh, contraptions 
And now I will take you above, and then I also have a uh, garbage chute right here. So I just have a bucket of lava down there. This is a stair. And, you know, if it's something that I don't want, let's say I don't want this nether wart, because I have plenty of it, I just toss it, and it goes away. So that's a uh, good garbage disposal. And um, at my other base, hopefully sometime I'll get back there. <laughs> hopefully. Got a lightning rod right here. And, yeah, this is this is just in a village. I found this house, and I'm like, you know, that would be a good place. So I have my usual birch tree farm going on. Um, I always do birch trees because they don't grow together. And uh, I just like the color of birch wood. So <laughs> that's why. I also have a, a wheat farm going on here where uh, there's just um, in each of these fields right below that pumpkin there, there's a water bucket I can actually show you. Um, there's water right down there with a the trap door. And and then um, for the water here it's all trapdoors all along here so when I want to collect and this can work for the carrots it can work for potatoes it can work for a bunch of things I definitely need to find some carrots which I'm pretty sure they're at my main base and I just haven't taken the time to get back there yet so uh, this is the same way it's just a double double setup so it does the exact same thing trapdoors go back and then from above here, I'm able to just uh, climb up here. And from here, when I hold down shift, I'm able to reach all the way around here and plant everything. So that's pretty cool. Hi, Iron Golem. How you doing? And down here, I have my cow farm. Um, I, I, this is something that I've been doing a lot more lately. It's very, so simple to build. So simple to build. So essentially, I just have a... Uh, a double chest with a funnel below water and a dispenser in here and when I want to breed the cows I just pop the button just breed them get some XP for it and then what happens is you can see some of them are getting red well that's because it's uh, overcrowded so when it's overcrowded um, you know they uh, they basically kind of go bye-bye for the most part and then uh, when I'm done breeding them and they're not really getting any more hearts, I just hit the button again. They all sink back down. Throw the wheat back in here. And as you can see, you get a bunch of raw beef, a bunch of leather. And then I just keep my stash of uh, wheat right there. Then up here, I have a, uh, a reed farm. So basically, we got observers along here with pumpkins, with jack-o'-lanterns. And when these reeds reach right in front of the observer, it activates all these pistons. And then it uh, goes down below. So I, it, I just have it. And I think I've, I think I've got this from Pixel Rifts, I think. Um, but there's a lot of cool farm ideas out there. And I just did this one. And as you can see, you can look along the back here. And I just have the observers there. When the observer goes, it activates this redstone. And boom, they just uh, they get all collected and have a good time. So then you can see right up here, it only cuts it off. So it, it continues to keep on growing. Um, and then when I want to collect everything, I have a system set up down here where it's basically a rail system with a uh, hopper rail on there. So it just kind of goes around this whole track, bounces back and forth. Um, so it's it's definitely kind of cool and then it all just gets shuffled right into here and as you can see it just it basically constantly works for the most part and it's a pretty simple setup you have the uh you have the hopper right here going into the chest you got a comparator right here so when it actually gets full then then the uh the then the mine cart with the with the funnel in it will just stop here and then it just drops everything and lays it in here. So every time it um, fires, then it stops, unloads everything into the chest, then continues on its way again. <laughs> so um, when I started, I had all this wheat, or not wheat, but reeds. So as you can see, and I mean, when I do these reeds by myself, it's like 
I usually get a couple few stacks um, at least at the very least um, so I have that going on and then this village is pretty cool uh, it's kind of nice uh, it is um, I definitely have some I got some villagers set up one as a uh, one that can give you the mending which is really cool so mending tw costs 12 emer emeralds you just come in here and the way that that works is because they because this guy is already um, because I've already traded with them so with all those paper I can get one em one emerald and then those emeralds I throw up in here and then when I get enough I do a book and then I get a mending book out of them which is right here but well, right now it's down to 10 emeralds so that's even cheaper um, you can also get them for cheaper than that too and then on this side I have uh, unbreaking two set up and it's a uh, it's kind of a cool you know you, you see those ones that they just have one space to go well this one I just set up you know they had the beds in there and then when they were sleeping at night I built a little wall around them and very easy put this wall down put a wall down here and then when you're trying to find um, whichever um, whichever what do you call it <coughs> whichever uh, enchanted book that you want um, you can keep on recycling these but considering considering now that it is uh, that I've already traded with them it's not gonna matter so I could take um, I'll just use my well I wish I had my axe but I don't have my axe with me so essentially all you do and then you're able to crouch in here come back out and then you just keep on doing this laying down the thing taking a look at the guy um, if he has a book that you like then you leave it then you make a trade and boom then forever forever more I don't even need to have this lectern here forever more he'll always have that book and then so I have that one set up and then I also have another one set up here which is luck of the sea um, so I did the same type of thing until I found the luck of the C3 um, and I don't know if this guy this guy's luck of the C are they both luck of the C okay they are both luck of the C so because I haven't traded with this guy I can I can demonstrate this to you and I'll just use I wish I had an axe with me because it goes a lot quicker so right now when I break this away the villager goes back to normal but then once I place this lectern down, it goes in front of it, and then all of a sudden he turns into a librarian. So it's an emerald. Um, 24 paper for an emerald, which I already have. Or I could do 9 emeralds for a bookshelf. Well, that's just crazy because I have my reed farm and I have my um, uh, leather farm also. So I can just make books really easily. So then if I just uh, knock this out, Every time you knock this out and you change it, he then changes again. So we'll try this uh, another time and see what we can get. Hopefully it's something cool. But you can, I mean, when I was trying to find that mending, I was standing there. I was doing this for like an hour straight. Just trying to find, <laughs> just trying to get it to mending. So this one's multi-shot. I have no idea what multi-shot is. So as you can see, when you change those things out, that's that's how they change. So... I don't know what multi shot is. That's okay. Um, I have more reed farms around here, and like for example, see how this guy is. I'd basically come in here. I'd basically build a wall, build another wall above, throw in some some um, half slabs, and boom, he's stuck in there. And then once he's awake, I take out the bed, and then they're just awake the entire time, so they don't get to sleep pretty much. And then right over here, I have my fishing dock. So, you know, I just stand out here and fish. You guys can see some of the jack-o'-lanterns down there. It's uh, quite nice to have a nice, um, to have a nice, uh, be able to see down there. And as I swim down here, you guys can see inside of my base right there. I put a nice brick around. So it's like I get to see an aquarium every single day. And then, like, this is my um, kelp farm. And this is super easy. Because all you got to do is, uh, so I place the door. When you place the door underneath water, guess what? You can breathe. So um, 
basically when I when I want kelp and I need a fuel source, I just come out here, I break a bunch of these things down. And then the good news is when you break these things down, they all float to the top. So then you can just collect them at the you you can collect them when they float all the way to the top. And yeah, when I when I do like half of this farm, I get like stacks of kelp. And then you can make kelp blocks and with the kelp blocks, you can use those as a burning material. So yeah, that's pretty much how that works out. Um, I, like I said, I have the lightning rod right here. And then in this house right here, I used to have my portal. Um, I used to have the portal in here, but then I decided to change it and set it down right over there and the thing still worked. So now that I'm down here, all you got to do is take the kelp, throw it in there. It'll through you can throw it in the smoker. It cooks a lot faster than a furnace. So it turns into dry kelp and then once you got the dried kelp and I should have that where do I have it? Maybe over here. I think I actually have it down here. So right here, you get dried kelp. So with um what is it? 9 blocks of the kelp. Um, nine of these create one block and then this thing's good for I think it's almost 20 items so instead of using charcoal I could just use the dried kelp block as a fuel source which is you know a lot easier would be when you don't have coal you just find some kelp all you got to do is take one and then it just multiplies extremely fast extremely fast so I'm gonna take a quick nap here I have my little timer right up here and by having the timer up there you know I can I can tell if it's night day what have you I already showed you the potion room um, I already showed you this area so I got the disenchanter here or the repair got my iron got my um, anvil and then I just have everything right here so it's it's kind of dual use essentially and then we, since it's day again, now I'm just going to cruise over to show you guys what my skeleton spawner looks like. Um, and that was, uh, like, it was it was pretty cool. When I very first started this world, literally had a zombie spawner right up the hill. And it took me forever to try to find a, um, a skeleton spawner. And then I was just looking and I'm like, well, that's odd that there's some cobblestone down here. And as you guys can see, it's not even that far down. I, I do want to put a um, like a railroad track going from my base into here. But uh, boom, right into here. So I have the tinted glass. The good thing about the tinted glass is you can actually have glass here. And those are made by using the, uh, where is it? Um, maybe I left them at the other one. But the new, the crystals, Am amethyst crystals or something like that. Um, you can make one of these which is cool. So when I want to use it, because right now the light's on, when I want to use it, I just turn it off and boom, right off the bat, you get skeleton spawning. And having this window here, because it is tinted glass, it's not going to affect the light level in there. So it's uh, quite quite good. And then they, they just get shot up this water elevator, which I also used a piece of kelp. Um, and then they just pop out right down here. And I also have a bed set up here. Um, I have my repair tool here and then as you can see I just got a bunch of bows a bunch of a bunch of these um, enchanted armor in this one I actually had to put a whole nother row of, <laughs> of chests over here because I was getting so many these are all unenchanted except for these ones are, are enchanted um, and then all kinds of bows. So when I do get a bow drop, um, I'll take a couple of damaged bows and I'll just repair them in here. Maybe we'll get, okay, so like this. See how that one's damaged? And then, yeah, you can see. Ton of bones, ton of arrows. And that's about it right here. So then, of course, when I want to take these guys out, just slice them. One hit, they're done. I got fire aspect on this, and then the uh, then the XP just shoots right out, and then it loads up for some more. And then I take, let's see, do I have? Okay, I don't have a undamaged one in here. But 
when you have a couple of damaged bows, you can keep on putting them in here and then it will it'll continually build up so it, so it becomes a solid bow. And then when it's a solid bow, I just pop it right up in this chest. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool. And, and it's just it's just crazy because with the with the other spawner, um, with the dual blaze spawner, you level up so much faster than doing these skeletons. It was it just ridiculous. <laughs> so much faster. So um, basically I have this set up same type of way where I have three um, uh, three funnels down below on top of half slabs and they each go into their own chest and yeah they just fill up so you know got arrows and bones for days and then slice them again levels go up slowly when I don't want to use a spawner anymore I turn the light on and as you can see there's just a couple of spawner blocks in there or a couple of uh, lamps redstone lamps in there and this one and that's about it so they'll these will probably be about the last of them there might be a couple more that I'll drop down but again I have my clock set up so I can tell if it's day night whatever time it is and again well I'll just keep this here and then got my furnace got all my chests got the block so yeah I had copper I had copper on my zombie spawner um, originally, and, and I'll show you the zombie spawner when I make it back to the main village, because I basically have a lot of this stuff rebuilt, because it is a long ways away. I'm a long ways from home here, and I have, uh, I have a few other spots that are going to villages and to a glacier and some other, some other things like that. So um, when, I, when I get around to that, then I'll definitely go and uh do that but yeah it was it was just kind of interesting because this was basically already here this whole cave was already created and then I, and except for i cleaned that out more i was just coming around and i'm like what the heck is cobble here and then i was because i wasn't even looking for a spawner at the time and then it turns out it's a skeleton spawner and that's like my favorite because you do get so many more drops <laughs> now the only thing that i'm kind of missing which i'm a bit upset about is um carrots and the reason i decided to make a video was because i spent i don't know eight eight or more hours yesterday searching around trying to get carrots i finally got it finally got a stack of carrot well not a stack but i finally got like four carrots finally found a village i went to i don't know four different villages and it ended up being a ways away and um yeah, I had that. I had bamboo because it was near a jungle farm, also a jungle, also. And then it also had two desert two desert temples right close to each other, which I was kind of shocked of. And then I went down to the nether <coughs> and made the total noob mistake. I didn't put everything in a chest like I normally do when I go down the, to the nether, and I'll probably do a video on it, um, even though I didn't record that specific one. But usually, when I create a new portal and I go down the nether, I usually build a, ch build a chest upstairs, save the game quick, and then, um, you know, unload all my valuable stuff in the chest. And, <laughs> and then I go down to the nether because you don't want to lose all that stuff. Well, dumb me, I went down there and I saw one of my um, trails branching out, which I thought it was close to my main base. So I was like, heck yeah, man, that'd be awesome if it connects there. Walked in, stepped on gravel, went to put down a building block, and boom, drowned in lava. So I lost all my carrots, all my bamboo, all my diamond armor, all uh, just uh, lost everything. I was just so upset. I was so upset. So then I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do a video on that. And hence, here you go. That's why I did this video. So I do plan on doing some more videos here. Uh, you guys let me know what types of videos that you guys would like to see. Um, I could do tutorials on a bunch of this stuff. I could show you how, how I do the kelp. I could show you how I do this farm. I could show you the reed farm, the wheat farm. I could show you all those. Just uh, let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see by letting me, down, letting me know down in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like. And... Uh, that should be good. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Pool, Ar Pool Shark Wizard, and you guys have yourselves a great day or night whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye-bye.